right now we're in Doraville and we are now pulling up to the Sitgo site right now, right in the background. Just coming to work the gangways back and forth. We just got done with the installation, so we want to make sure everything's working right, everything's sprung correctly, um, everything's just dandy and make sure they're happy. This area right here was basically inactive for the past 10 years. Uh, the ethanol mandate came in as a federal mandate recently and we reactivated our rail line and started bringing it in by rail car. We had a problem with fall protection. Our employees had to, first of all, hook a hose up to the bottom of the rail car, then climb this ladder up to the top and open a vent. This is an inherently dangerous operation. The rails can be slick with ice or water if it's raining. and. We wanted, wanted to get away from this as quickly as we could. We're a, a relatively small company. We've got about 3,500 employees. Our engineering staff is a small staff, therefore what we need is a turnkey approach. And SafeRack supplied the engineering expertise. They built all the equipment. They installed all the equipment. We came and uh, made many site visits. and. Uh, a few obstacles to work around and um, put a system in here that he chose to uh, get on top of all three of those rail cars. Of course, you look at this situation and see what their customer's going to need. Well, in this particular scenario, their, their crash boxes, the railing on their rail cars are offset. There's no front and back to a rail car. So when you're all taking that into consideration, um, we chose a wider gangway for them. Instead of your standard 24 inch wide, we had a, a, a big four foot wide gangway. Also, the rail car lengths are, are different. So we put this gangway on a track, so you can track it to wherever your rail car is, stop it right at that point, you know, you can lower it down. The operation of it's really simple, with a foot pedal here to release the mechanism, a gentle push down, gravity will carry it down, center it over the top of the dome. Then we can open the gate and walk out onto it. And of course it has the extension pieces on the gangway as well so you can close the gap because the crash boxes are probably six feet to eight feet so they're all different sizes so you have to take that in consideration as well. We looked at a number of vendors that provide this type of installation. The first requirement was the safety of my people. Secondarily, a quality installation that my people can work with. Well, good equipment that's not going to require a lot of maintenance and it's not going to break. The third thing that I look for is a company that I can deal with, somebody that gives good customer service. The installation here provided that for me. 